Okay, this is going to be a real quick video demo. We're just going to show you how to install BSD subsystems on the iPhone. And basically what it is, is it's some back-end coding that um, you're never going to see again. It's just a some source code and some stuff that gets ran on the phone, Unix tools. So it, it's pretty large. It used to be about 6 megabytes. Now it's down to 5.1. So it does take a bit to download. You definitely want to be on Wi-Fi when you do it. And this is not something that will show up on your dock or your springboard or whatever. It's it's a background application. So you need this for other things to run, like dock, um, that little starburst in the corner that you, you tap and it opens. And there's just a, some other features that won't work without it. So. You also have to have BSD subsystems installed for SSH to work. So you can log into your phone and manipulate your files and um, move things around. Um, there's a little warning that pops up about um, the password command uh, is broken. So I believe that has to do with changing your password. Maybe for when you SSH in, I'm not sure, but I, a lot of that has to do with coders and developers. So um, if you don't understand what it means, don't worry about it. It doesn't have anything to do with, with you. So. so once it's done installing, you just will hit the home button, and your iPhone will restart, and you'll have BSD subsystems. Your phone won't look or act any different from your perspective. So that's it.